was a lifetime experience. Just look at that interior. It's pretty well preserved and everything on the inside looks also very new. It's like one of the few times that I'm starting my intro on the inside because everything looks so so fabulous, so fantastic. Welcome to uh, quite a sunny, beautiful lap. At least I hope so. We still have to do a lap in the BMW 330CI in... Uh, well, it's either Daytona Violet or Ultraviolet. So is this Daytona Violet or Ultraviolet? No, it's uh, more a metallic. I, I tried to be smart and uh, there we are. But it's a BMW individual. So what's this? Do you know like a brief history of the car? Because it looks quite a very well spec Yeah, uh, uh, it isn't actually very well spec It's basically just, just the color, uh, uh, individual seats, Harman Kardon, basically that's it. It has a sport suspension. Mm -hmm. But what's special about it? I'm a crazy guy who loves to repair like everything, yeah. like from from a scratch. So basically, all these panels are completely new. Yeah, all these tell. are from a uh, factory. So basically, if I change anything, I change any everything from from a scratch. Nice. Before coming here, I know they're stock, but they completely yeah. re completely rebuild uh, brakes. All right. Yeah, I mean like there's nothing left old. All right. That's what I usually do, like ultra sound cleaning of intake uh, wow. manifold and stuff like really? that. Really? Wow. It's still stock, but it, it should be in a good should be in a good condition. It should at least drive like a stock car. Nice. Well, I'm excited for that. What's the power of this? 230. 230. Yeah. That's it's quite good. It's uh, again similar to the E90 325 or 330 race car yep. uh, that I was driving. The only difference is that this is probably a bit lighter than the E90. Hopefully, hopefully it should be. Hopefully it should be. Uh, it's a manual. Yeah, it's a manual. So yeah, we're on air once for the rest of the car is pre-stock. We should. Uh, I'm really curious and excited because these kinds of cars always. Um, it's good to show that maybe. You don't need to have an M3 to have fun on track. It has M3 mirrors. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's, that's an individual part. And, uh, nice. A uh, previous owner from Switzerland, he put the uh, G-Power uh, exhaust. Uh, exhaust, which was specifically made for 3 liter E46. Nice. Well, let's hop in and uh, have a have some fun lap. Should be fun. <laughs> it's going to be scary, probably. I don't know. <laughs> You can take off your glasses and then we can tell by the look <laughs> in your eyes. They're actually optical. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. So shifting around six before six. Six and a half. Oh, six and a half, all right. Can prevent. I drove a Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid with 680 horsepower and like right. two and a half tons. <laughs> so I need to readjust my right. uh, car feeling experience. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the, don't press the brake. That was. <laughs> that's what a week of holiday does to you. You start to confusing brake and clutch pedals. Uh, uh -huh. 
on suspension especially um, have you checked the like the rear subframe for the bushings and stuff because that Nine. the back end seems to move a bit yeah not yet I, uh, check it when you get back home it's yeah. not horrible I've experienced like you know very horrible examples All but right. like uh, this thing like when we went through foot plus I'm like oh, okay well, I think we can go through flat here um, yeah, long story short, it's uh, we had a bit of understeer because I had to lift because the back end was like getting uh -huh. quite uh, loose. So it's not horrible, uh, it's a, but it's actually on my list. Yeah, so it just but yet again, by the way, I do that. It should be a complete rebuild with so all nice. the clothing and all of this stuff. Very nice. No, I like how it handles.
why exactly maybe it was cheaper or more durable right but there was no real documentation on whoever did the decision and no one asked no one knows no one asked <laughs> and they were like no we're gonna keep it as a tradition right yeah so it always amazes me how you can drive into a corner in 180 and pass someone's phone yeah. who's just holding here yeah 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 <laughs> had to remind myself how to drive a manual and uh, right. <laughs> when I did like accidentally press the brake instead of the clutch because <laughs> I, I just came back from you know from a trip in Italy with my V with Polestar 2 so it was just like constantly two paddles and now right. I drove the this thing what's it called the, the Panamera to a hybrid right. and now it's the first manual like over a week time that I'm driving I'm like uh, <laughs> still not completely awake so like aha right. uh -huh, this is how you do it but halfway through the lap it was actually very nice not only I got I remembered how to drive a car uh, but I also got used to it and you could carry a lot more speed through the corners uh, like in a very uh, engaging way so I really really enjoyed it I hope you did too it was, uh, it was amazing good I say, it, it was a lifetime experience damn. good damn good I'm, uh, every happy. single corner I was thinking it's it is impossible <laughs> it won't go it won't go yeah yeah well the car didn't go sideways so last track but uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it went in a figurative way, I guess. No, no, no it's uh, amazing. Uh, and the brakes were fine because they're just they were off. fine. They were fine. I mean, again, this shows also because you said you did the full full revision of the yeah, brakes, yeah, yeah. so that helped certainly. Uh, fresh pads, fresh fluids, uh, so that helps for sure. Um, so overall, very uh, very nice. Like uh, so the rear subframe frame is. is yeah, th this is just like yeah. yeah, this, and if you want to. Uh, like put a bit stiffer suspension on because mm -hmm. if it's your daily or like you know long term like you're not really it's a track car one, yeah, yeah you, you don't have to go full crazy club sports pack mm -hmm. shocks but just something that is mm -hmm. tiny bit like tighter like uh, I love uh, like I might be biased but like Birstein B16 or uh, B14 it's uh, because they tested uh, like suspension here really on the ring uh -huh. and even before I was signed by Birstein I've been always saying their suspension is quite soft mm -hmm. for the ring purposes but it also translates on the road use B16 and B14 yeah or yeah or yeah or right. even a bit lower depends on your like budget and needs right. but B16 right. is actually like a very uh, very nice track suspension while maintaining the, the soft capabilities like the um, yeah so Nuts. Cool. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, yeah. Amazing. What I wanted to say, indeed, I loved it. Uh, it uh, showed that, of course, M3 would be faster on many aspects, but uh, like price-wise, what's the difference between a 330 and the M3? I think it's that's four to five times. Four to five times. Yeah. Wow. So like now, M3s are there around like I think like 30, 40. Something like Something that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So the this good, this good E forty six three liter is around fifteen, I believe. Yeah, yeah. The good one. A good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good one. So yeah, so around you you can get something like around ten, put a bit of work in it, a bit yeah, of mods. Yeah, yeah. And and I spent uh, already like around twenty. Yeah, yeah. On uh, now fifteen on all of that stuff because I, I even changed these rubbers. Wow. Each of them. There was, was some like, like air coming in from. I here. haven't. I haven't. Uh, Ah, I adjusted the mirrors. I haven't, yeah, I haven't adjusted to the new uh, rubber. Okay. Yeah, every okay. every side is around 400 euros. Wow. Yeah. Wow, crazy. And after I changed them, it became worse. <laughs> <laughs> do without adjusting. Yeah, I guess because when they were bad, yeah. the whole car was adjusted yeah, 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 yeah. to uh, to what it was, and now it's like all of a sudden, what are you putting in? <laughs> cool. Now, awesome. Thanks again for the experience. Thank you. It was uh, it was amazing. You. Cool. Cool. I'm I'm super grateful that you found time for just the free data. Yeah, no, I uh, I loved it. Like I said, for me it's like uh, it's nice to see what the car like that can do and to show that you don't really even need an uh, right. M3 in a way. Or let's say, if you need it, you need it. Right. But if you just start track driving, people should not think like, ah, oh, I need to buy an M3. Right. right. This is already like I think you should people should start with this. They mm -hmm. should start basically with 318. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. to 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 learn the basics and then go to something like this. But this is like a perfect compromise, especially uh, not only with the purchase. People need to think of the maintenance. Right. If an engine goes of this, that's probably significantly cheaper than oh, an S fifty four. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah.